In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Smart Slider 3 plugin with Thrive Architect. So here we have a slider that I created using Smart Slider 3, just the free version, not the pro version. And this is actually built using Thrive Architect or actually integrated with Thrive Architect. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that so that you can have a slider on any page on your website built using Thrive Architect that you would like. And as a bonus, I'm going to show you how to put a button like this one within a smart slider so that you can trigger a Thrive Leads opt-in form. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is to get your smart slider plugin installed and navigate to the settings or the main page for the plugin. And what I did was I simply went to the template library to just quickly get myself a slider. I'm going to go with this one, the gradient slider, and I'm going to press import. That imports for me here a slider and I get the short code. This short code is exactly what you're looking for. You're going to want to copy that. And you can do this after or before you get your slider all designed. I'm going to go ahead and do it before since this is just a template. I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to go to a page that I created using Thrive Architect. Mine's actually blank right now. And I'm going to insert a WordPress element because the WordPress element is how Thrive Architect can interpret these short codes. So you'll just simply paste in your short code right in there and you'll press save. And don't be alarmed, this might be completely blank or it might say no preview is available. All you really have to do is press save work and then a simple refresh on your browser. And once that's done doing its loading thing, you'll see that the slider actually works pretty well. And if I were to save my work here and preview that page, it's actually a fully functioning smart slider, exactly like we want it. And then I can just go back to my page and let's say that I wanted to adjust where that was laid out on the top. I wanted to remove the margin. Uh, what if I wanted to add other text on the screen or something else like a background section? It functions exactly like Th Thrive Architect would. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how to create a button instead of using the uh, smart slider buttons, which are still pretty darn good by themselves, what if you wanted to control that button exactly like you would control a Thrive Architect button? Well, to do that, it's actually pretty simple. So I'll go ahead and get rid of this background section I added, and I'm going to add a just a standard button. I'm going to drag that button onto the screen, and this button I'm going to stylize exactly like I want the button in the slider to look like. In fact, I might even give it exactly the text I want it to have. So let's say I had an opt-in offer. So let's say download my opt-in offer. And I want to make this button uh, maybe a nice green color. That looks good. And I want it to be left aligned. So we're going to left align it like that. And I, yeah, I think that button looks pretty good. So here's where things might get a little bit tricky. Go ahead and save your work because we want to go back to this preview page that we have. Refresh the page and you're going to see the button on the screen. Actually, let's go back one second. I want to give this button a little bit more functionality. I want it to be able to open a light box. So let's just go ahead and go to animation and action. And on click, we want to open a thrive box. Let's go ahead and load uh, maybe one of the uh, light boxes I used in a previous video. Let's use my video sandbox. Uh, thrive box there. So now when that button is clicked, it will open up a, well, it's going to open a very ugly, very basic, but it's going to open a Thrive box nonetheless. So let's say that's exactly what I wanted that button to do. What you want to do is right click on that button and using de uh, Chrome's developer tools or however else you can inspect that element. And what we're looking for is we are looking for right here where it says div class equals thrive wrapper, thrive button, etc. It'll usually be right after the clear. You want to click on that, right click, and go to copy, copy element. That's all you have to do. Now let's go back into our smart slider. And this is the one that we had. Let's edit that slide. And this is going to edit in real time the slide that's already on my Thrive Architect page. I'm going to get rid of this button because I don't really need to have that one. And I'm going to add my own and I'm going to add that using some layer text. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to add some basic text, a basic text layer above that button. And we are going to, within that text layer, find the simple text editor here. 
going to copy all this text and get rid of it. And we're going to paste in exactly what we uh, copied from the element when we inspected our button. So let's just go ahead and get rid of this button now. Okay, this looks ugly and it looks like it's not going to work, but that's okay. Just press save. Now let's go back to that preview that we had of our slider with our button. Press refresh and ta-da, you now have the button within your slider. And if we test that, sure enough, it brings up the light box. Okay, we're not done yet. This part's very important. In order for this button to work, we have to have all of the attributes loaded from this button we already added. So we can't technically delete that button. So what we're going to do is go back into Thrive Architect. We're going to press the gear on the right hand side. We're going to go to advanced settings and view the page source HTML. In here, we're going to find that second button that we added. It's right here. And we're going to edit the HTML to add some styling to it. So you type style equals open quote, display, colon, none. We'll close that with a semicolon. We'll put our quotes back there. We'll put a space. And we will press the check mark here in the upper right hand corner to save our changes. Now don't panic. Everything looks like it disappeared. However, if you take your mouse and you hover, the WordPress content element is still there. That's okay. Press save work in the bottom left hand corner. Go back to our page where you're previewing and refresh. And there you go. That button that we added is now being told not to render, but our button that we added using Thrive Architect's code into our smart slider will still work perfectly. So there you have it. That's all you need to do to add a button from Thrive Architect into a smart slider. And now you know how to add the smart slider directly into a page you're working on with Thrive Architect. If you have any questions, you can visit the post associated with this video at convology.com where I'm happy to answer any questions you might have about implementing sliders into Thrive Architect. Thanks for watching.